Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, Slime Sita. For today's YouTube video, I'm going to be taking you guys vintage shopping with me. I went vintage shopping about two weeks ago and I've been fiending to go back ever since. I found the cutest room decor, so I decided why not take you guys with me so y'all can get some tips and tricks on how to find the cutest stuff. I wanted to style an outfit with you guys before we go and we're going to be styling an outfit based on this skirt that I recently thrifted. Look how shimmery it is. I really love the ruched um, waist right here and these ruffles. It kind of gives that bubble hem look. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I really wanted a skirt like that and I thought, how cute is this? So I picked it up. It is by Forever 21, so it's like modern, but I don't know. It's really cute. It's really different. I've never seen anything like it, so I want to style an outfit with it. Let's go see what we can pair it with. So I just took you to the different corner of my room and this is the skirt on. It's really cute. It obviously does not match with this little baby doll top. I obviously feel like we have to do something black. Like, I don't know what other color would go well with this. Hell no. <laughs> no. I just recently thrifted this top and look how cute it is. It's like a milkmaid top. I don't know if this is the vibes. No, I feel like this shirt might be a little too long. This shirt is also really cute, but it's too long, I feel like. Yeah. This skirt needs to be a lot more longer for those tops, I feel like. I think I'm gonna go with this tank top. It just says guess in cursive rhinestone. I also recently thrifted this and I haven't worn it, so I feel like this is the perfect option. Let me put this on. Oh my god, this top cinches me in. Wow, I love it actually. I don't think it's too bad. It's covering it up, but you know what? It's okay. I really do love it. So now I need a cover up because I haven't shaved my pits. I think you guys have seen that already, but whatever. This is a girl's channel. I forgot to shave this morning, whatever. I have not worn this. It is a night robe, but like the ruffled collar is so pretty. So I think I'm gonna have to wear this. Let me put it on. And it's on, look how cute it is. Is this not the cutest outfit? It's not the cutest outfit. I feel like this robe is perfect for our antique vibes, our vintage vibes. That sounds so stupid, but like, we're gonna be looking for a lot of stuff with lace cause I love lace. Yeah, I think we're almost ready. We just need shoes. I could go for some Mary Janes. I think it would match this fit, but I recently bought these boots off Demonia and I love the brass knuckles. And I think it goes with this fit. Yeah, let me put them on. They are a little bit hard to walk in, but I don't know. I feel like this outfit is so cute. Oops. <gasps> Not me stomping my floors. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to go. I decided to put on this angel necklace and these angel, these little cupid earrings. They're my favorite. Oh yeah, I also have some rings to put on. This is the purse I'm gonna be using. It's by Guess. I don't know if this is a real Guess purse because it doesn't have the silver logo inside and my other Guess purse does. I don't know, I thrifted it, but it's cute, you know? I don't have any black purses besides that coach bag, but that's for school. So I'm gonna just use this one. I'm only going antique shopping, so I only really need my keys and the other stuff that I have in here. I also bought these little star clips by the brand Guess. I'm wearing a Guess shirt, Guess purse. I feel like we kind of have to put some clips in right here. I'm not really big on accessories. I need to learn how to do my hair though, because ugh, look at this mess. I don't know, but I just, I kind of want to put some in because, cute. Wait, I genuinely like it. That's cute. Should I do it on the other side too? <laughs> These are the vibes for today. So yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. 
I'm a little nervous because I'm going to an antique store I've never gone. I feel like I should go to the same one just to play it safe, but no, I have been wanting to go to this antique store, so we're gonna go and hopefully it goes good. Okay, so I'm currently driving and I feel like this is dangerous having my phone, but I just wanted to talk to you real quick while I'm getting there. I looked up the address and some of the roads are familiar. Like, I don't know, I get really nervous when it's someplace, I don't know. Just being alone, right now is making me anxious because when i'm with a friend at least i have somebody i this sounds really dumb ex trying to explain it but yeah i don't know i'm a little nervous just because i've never been here before oh but i found a parking spot that is close oh my god i'm excited we're here yay I'm so happy we made it. I was so nervous. I hate driving. I need to hire a personal driver. I don't know. I felt like I should have done like a Pinterest board with you guys so you guys could get an idea of what I'm looking for. But obviously, we're going to be looking for precious moments, cherished teddies. That's a given, if you know me. And anything that's cute. Anything with like angels, bows, ribbons, lace. You know, all the girly antique stuff. Flowers, roses. It looks pretty big, so I'm excited. <laughs> God, these little dolls. I love dolls that close their eyes. This one's so cute, but she's missing a shoe. Oh, this is so cute. Cute. I want a pet bunny so bad. I know I'm gonna need a lot of space for it to run around oh, this picture is perfect i think i'm gonna take it i've really been into swans recently i'm gonna take it i really like this funny one i can't wait to get my own apartment because i'm gonna be getting This is like the embodiment of what we are looking for here. Look how cute this is. set this is cute y'all oh my god i kind of want this should i get it i need one of these like desperately just found the one I want <gasps> yes and she's only $12 I'm taking her can I open it <gasps> yes I can oh my god yeah she's coming home with me she's absolutely precious you have touched so many hearts I know it was that one I want the perfume version of this one I actually have um a teacup Ugh, I hate how stained it is though I'm gonna have to wash it or something. This one's also really cute too. No, but she's very dirty. I'm sorry, queen. I'm gonna have to leave you. You're 
larger, so. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, now I'm happy. Hopefully we find more, though. I'm loving this. I need this for my own place. And the pictures and these seats. Oh. This is exactly what I want my home to look like. This road, I was. We want to stay focused. She's so slays. I've seen those on Pinterest. the next day hence why i'm wearing a different shirt and my bed sheets are changed i don't know if you realize but in the beginning they were white satin sheets let me just tell you do not buy satin sheets like i thought it was gonna help my hair and maybe it did but like it started to get hot and my body just could not take the discomfort so i was like half asleep taking off my bed sheets and i put back my old ones and i missed it i feel like it's really me i really do love it but that's besides the point i am a little disappointed with my haul because i was really expecting to walk out with a box full of stuff which is why i got the shopping cart in the first place when i went antique shopping last month it went so well like i got so much good stuff it made me think the same thing was gonna happen this time but i guess not I don't know maybe people took all the cute stuff i did find some cute stuff but i couldn't justify myself buying it just because of the price and also i don't think there would have been space in my room my room is really small so i'm trying to just buy small things to fill up the empty spaces because that wall for example right there i feel like it's really empty and i need more stuff on there there was a lot of statue figures and stuff that you know was gonna take up space on a surface which is why i didn't really buy that much the only thing you guys saw me pick up was this swan picture frame which is really cute i'm gonna show you where i hung it up i also got the precious moments i just love the pink iridescent hearts like that's so cute she's so cute she's beautiful i actually had saved her on my pinterest which is crazy and the last thing or was this the second thing i don't remember but this little floral candle holder it's really cute i have wanted a candle holder like this for a minute but I really have no place to put it in my room. Like, it's just awkwardly sitting in the middle of my vanity. I'm not gonna light it ever unless the power goes out. But yeah, um, this was $18. I spent $40 on just those three little things, which I don't know how to feel because I have gone antique shopping a lot and $40 have gotten me a lot more stuff. I feel like the prices at that store were a little bit up there. I'm not saying it isn't worth it because some things were definitely worth it in my opinion. Like that blue clown ballerina figurine. Like why did I not get that? I regret not buying that. But I guess to make this video a little bit more interesting, I'm going to show you what I got last time. Just some of it. Not everything because uh, that's not important. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you with the swan figure first. Okay, so we're on my bed, and I ended up putting the swan picture over there 
on top of this shelf with my precious moment circus i think it's really cute over there on top of this little set i got this whole set for 20 dollars at a goodwill like that was one of my best days ever i feel like a bigger picture frame would look nicer on my wall but for now i'll just put that swan picture there See, I want to get more picture frames like that so I'd be able to put it on this empty wall. I got this little vanity years ago for only $100. It was really cheap, but I've dirtied it and just fucked it up over the years. Um, please ignore that, but the candle holder kind of looks cute there. Um, I hate my vanity. Like, it's the worst part of this room. Please ignore it. And for now, I kind of just put this precious moment here. I genuinely don't have no place to to put it um i have all the ones i have here but anyways this is our showstopper from the last vintage store this is the first vintage doll i bought and she's so stunning like the purple dress the off the shoulder this necklace the roses in her hair she has these lace gloves and her vintage bag yup and she even has bloomers underneath like the detail that went into this doll is so good and also this doll really inspired me to make my own necklace i remember a guy stopped me at the store and was like she's beautiful and then the ladies at the register they're just hyping up everything i have bought because i also bought this picture frame with the swans i also got this little cherished teddy with the hearts only two dollars like you cannot beat that and my boyfriend actually bought me that for valentine's day he went thrifting on his own and i just thought that was so sweet i fucking love this one we were discussing it though why are her babies bunnies who have you been fucking i also got this cherished teddy there and that collector's club piece which is crazy because i actually have that one right here i bought that one on mercari though and then these thimbles oh my goodness these look like my nephew also, these have been on my wish list. They're so freaking cute. Uh, and I also got this precious moment clown. I'm obsessed with clowns. And I think that's the whole reason why I kind of got obsessed with precious moments. Because of their clown figurines. Yeah, so that's just this little corner of my room. I actually hate this part. Like, I need to do something with this extra space. I feel like I should just add another row and make a row necklaces but i'm not sure we'll see this is why i want to go antique shopping more so i could buy like picture frames or something to put on the wall and i don't like this empty space so i definitely need a shelf um but other than that like you know i love collecting and owning cute stuff yeah so that's pretty much the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed i feel like i didn't give any tips and tricks like I, that's what i said in the beginning um I don't know it was fun it was fun filming it was fun showing you guys and i'm definitely gonna be going back but i'm not gonna go until like another month probably because i don't know i i have to mentally prepare myself for antique shopping but anyways i hope you guys stick around and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you next time bye